Welcome, I'm from the Mise ZTE Axon 11 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So starting off we're gonna begin with the dark mode which will allow you to turn system wide dark mode. And that is not it. Night light, there we go, dark mode. So once you tap on it you'll see the difference right here. So that's notification panel that is completely dark now and things like your apps that come well pre-installed will also be in dark mode with some exceptions as you can see um, so settings as you will see right here and uh, certain apps that you have downloaded will also be in dark mode but keep in mind not all of them the developer of the app needs to add support for it if they have not um, then it will be back in or still in the light mode then moving on to the next one, it's going to be the split screen. So this is a fairly simple one. You go to recent, tap on the three dots and go to split screen. This will open up one app on top, whichever one you open up as first. And then whatever you open up second will be the additional app on the bottom. And you can use two different apps at the same time. Now, this has a little bit more sense when you're using it with something, for instance, like YouTube. So let's actually find YouTube and let's go back to recent, tap on the three dots split screen, you can resize it and then open up additional app and you will be able to normally watch videos from here along with doing something else uh, on your phone and the video will not pause so it's just a nice way for you to for instance listen to music while doing actual other stuff and not being forced to pay the uh, dumb subscription. Let's exit. Now moving on to the next one, it's going to be um, the locking of an app. So let's go back to the recent and again the uh, three dots and you'll have the lock this app. Now for things like YouTube it doesn't really matter but for other apps like Spotify or apps that may for instance play music run in the background. Um, so apps that will run in the background but are still well, limited to needing to be open. Uh, will benefit from it for I believe Spotify is one of them but basically what you do is lock an app and then you probably forget about it uh, as we all do go to recent and clear it all out and it will close the app so for instance if it's Spotify it stops the music and by locking it it will continue to be open so if we go back to recent there we go you can see that phone is still open and no matter how many times I try to clear it it will stay open because it's locked so it is basically not being affected by clearing and that will allow you to keep certain apps open all the time and you don't have to worry about clearing all the apps from the background um, that won't be affecting anything that you might actually care about. So moving on to the next one it's gonna be the screen pinning. Now this is something that is maybe a bit less useful uh, on the daily basis uh, but it allows you to basically pin a window so let's start off by going into the settings and then and from here we're gonna go under the security scroll down screen pinning enable it and also uh, i would advise you to have this on as well i don't even know if i have a lock screen so let me if i do so basically this option will allow you to pin a uh, application and then prevent uh, prevent you from leaving it and if you try to well, un or unpin it, it will automatically lock the device and thus force you to put in your pattern or pin or password, whatever the locking method you have set is. So now that it's enabled, I can simply leave, go to recent and for instance use settings as an example. So again, tap on the three dots and you can see that there is another option visible now. Tap on pin and screen is pinned. Um, what is it? To unpin, swipe up and hold. Okay, so cool. So as you will see, now I will not be able to leave this app. I can only basically stay on the app, but anything past this app is not accessible to me. And if I try to leave it, like I said, it will lock the device and force me to unlock it with the pattern. And this is a good option if you're trying to give your phone to someone because for instance, they want to look at something. Uh, so you pin the window and they will be unable to leave it. Uh, and be forced to only use this specific app that they 
for instance, wanted to use. So it's more of a security measure here. And the last thing that I wanted to show is a simple theming option. So again, it's in the settings under home screen and lock screen, and you have themes. Now when you're opening up for the first time, you will need to accept uh, some stuff. And from here you have a couple different fonts. So as you will see, once you tap on it, it gives you uh, an overview of how it kind of looks like. It changes the icons, as you can see. So this is the one that is enabled right now with the circular icons. Um, and as you can see, they kind of look like this. Just a default look almost. And then there's another one which changes the look of things like file manager, settings, browser, stuff like that. So you can tap on apply and use anyway. And there we go, as you can see, it changed the look of the icons. Now, not every one of them, as you can see, but some of them have been changed. And overall, it changes also the theme or, well, the background. So that will conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I wanted to show. And if you found them helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.